Hi everybody, welcome to Empress Moon Tarot 777. This is the first video for my channel, so you are a first time viewer. If you're a first time viewer, I specifically designed the name of the channel to provide those that are in need of the message of the Empress and the Moon and the meaning behind 777 to be able to view it. Please look down in the description box for a little bit more information to see if it might apply to you. Regardless of whether or not it does apply to you, please keep in mind this is a general reading. It will not apply to everybody. It will resonate with some. Some parts of it will resonate with you and others will not. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Please like, share, and subscribe. And let's get started. Our reading, this first reading, will be for Capricorn, the sign of Capricorn, for September 12th. 2018. Capricorn, September 12th, 2018. I like Cappies, but boy are they complicated. Y'all Capricorns, just your complicated folk. Alright, let's see what we got for September 12th, 2018. Might be dealing with the Pisces. Oh, I've neglected to mention I am a Pisces Sun, Scorpio Moon, Libra Rising, and Scorpio Scorpio Jupiter, which is important for intuition, and uh, Pisces Venus sign. For those of you that are interested in knowing that, oh, Three of Cups, lovely. Oh. And we have the Seven of Wands. And let's have a card for our overall energy, please, Spirit. A card for the overall energy for Capricorns. September 12th. You gave me two. All right, we'll add this one to the reading. Okay. Let me take a moment to take it all in, and then I'll proceed with the reading. So this is for Capricorn, September 12th, 2018. Our overall energy, our overall energy for today is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles usually has to do with um, tackling tasks, being very focused on work, things of that nature, being dedicated completely to something. Not necessarily just work, but dedicated completely to something. And investing in your own future. Basically your hard work is beginning to pay off. So this is likely associated to some, with something that you've been working on for quite some time. Whether that is a work situation, a family situation, a personal situation, a relationship situation. I don't like to mention signs. I know that some tarot readers do. Um, I tend not to mention them unless they are associated with a major arcana. Simply because I think that it's important for us to look at the energy of the card. But we do have here the moon card. The moon card <laughs> is, a, is a card. It's a Piscinian card. Um, it is one in which it specifically deals with with mystery things that are not known um, for me being a piscinian it's more of a clarity card for me i tend to get clarity when i see the moon card that i know that i'm going on the direction that i need to be going on because for me the moon card represents that mystery that intuition things of that nature well the moon the moon card is very, 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 it's a very powerful card. And um, it illuminates different aspects of what it might be that you're going through. And that can often cause confusion, anxiety, things of that nature. It makes it very difficult for most people to tell what is real and what is not. But the moon illuminates the pathway that you're on. You just can't always see the direction right away. So we need to keep that in mind with this reading. Something is being illuminated and causing confusion. We do see that um, there is some, some perseverance and some difficulties in the end. So this may be coming into play a little bit later. 
Then we also see the Three of Cups. I love this card. This, I've got two Three of Cups cards in this deck. This particular one deals with celebration and joy and spending time with, with friends and loved ones, things of that nature. Um, often indicates that this atmosphere of celebration, I, I like how it shows that each cup is a little bit different. So we each have something different to offer to our personal relationships. We all have different strengths and weaknesses, and I think that in this particular spread, that's important for us to note, that we all have different strengths and weaknesses, and we work together to perform a task. We see here in this, the Seven of Wands, Wands is a very, very, um, it's a very passionate suit. It also has to do with, with struggles and trials and difficulties and passions and pursuing one's goals. So here we have the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands tells us that you need to be strong, fight for what you believe in, stand up for what it is that, that you believe in, and not back down, to keep pushing forward, push past your competition, and uh, stand up strong, and you'll be victorious. We do see that this struggle, whatever the struggle is, is going to be continuing a little bit longer, though, because we move in to the Nine of Wands. And in the Nine of Wands, we are told that you should you should be strongly persevering, continuing, continuing down your path. Don't stop. Be an overcomer. So whatever this is here that is causing you to have to stand up for whatever it is you believe in, it's going to it's going to be a long, arduous process, and and you're gonna feel like you're almost at your wit's end. That you've had almost too much for you to bear. But keep going. Don't stop. Be an overcomer, because. Right after the Nine of Wands, we have the Ten of Wands, which is a completion. It's at that point where there's no more burdens that you can bear and you have to lighten the load. So we're almost to the point where this is going to be coming to an end. So I would like to clarify what's going on. You know, we have this, this real happy card, this happy, joyous card, and then we we're hit with some difficult trials. I'd like some more clarification on what's going on with this Three of Cups being here that might help us to illuminate what's happening. So Spirit, if you could give me a little bit more direction on the Moon and the Three of Cups. Oh. Okay. So we have an Ace, we have an Ace of Cups and a Queen of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups is pretty much self-explanatory for anybody who has been watching any kind of tarot videos. And the Ace of Cups talks about new beginnings in love and happiness, um, beginnings that are filled with a lot of love, affection, emotional contentment, a very deep connection. Now, this does not necessarily have to be a love relationship. It could simply be a new friendship or it could be a new partnership in business. But we also see the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles is a very giving, nurturing um, person, and oftentimes, for those of you that do want the signs, it would be referring to a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus, and it does not necessarily have to be female. It's just the energy in this card is referring to that of a giver, somebody who's nurturing, welcoming, somebody who um, you know understands the need to provide for others before herself. So. What I'm seeing from this is that there is some form of a relationship, and this relationship may be what's going through some difficulties and, and trials. This particular relationship that's come up, this new new beginning in relationships, is one where you're having some trouble understanding precisely where you stand, and that you're having some disagreements that are causing you to need to to stand up for yourself, whether that's standing up for something that you believe or standing up for, um, you know, your rights in the relationship or simply standing up and saying, hey, this is what I believe we should have in our relationship and this is what I believe we shouldn't and just speaking your mind. Um, whatever it is that you've been going through with this, this new beginning in love seems to be causing some difficulty difficulties and strain. Because we have this Three of Cups here, the difficulties and strain very well could be related to family issues, 
Perhaps family does not accept this new beginning. Family's having trouble understanding. Um, something of that nature. Family or friends might be causing this sense or this need to persevere in this difficult time. So let me go ahead and get you guys an oracle card. And we'll see what kind of advice Spirit has for you regarding this situation. Advice for Capricorns, please. For September 12th, 2018. Let's see what we got. I love these cards, but they're so big they're hard to shuffle. Advice for Capricorns. I love my Cappies. Some really great Capricorns in my life. They're pretty awesome. There we go. Oh, look at this Capricorn potential. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, how beautiful. Think big for your future. Think big for your future. Whatever sort of whatever sort of difficulties and trials that you are going through with this new relationship, whether this new relationship is a business relationship, which it very well could be because of our Eight of Pentacles being the overall energy, or whether it's a love relationship, or whether it's a relationship with a friend, whatever difficulties and trials you're going through, this is telling you to think big for your future, to think about the direction you're going in and really embrace it and move forward towards the goodness that you deserve in your life and that which is coming down the road. It tells us that there are some good things coming down the road. We have this this child looking in over this, uh, looks like a snow globe. It's absolutely stunning. Snow globe with this little mountain scene. So we've got earth once again, earth for our cappies. Which I find that quite interesting. So inside the snow globe, we have this absolutely beautiful angel and this dove. The dove is is a representation of peace, and the angel is telling us that you are not only being guided into your future, but you will be protected in your future. And I love the little fairies looking on and saying, "Oh wow, look at this wonderful new thing that's coming down the road for our cappies." It's an absolutely fantastic card. I hope that you guys have a really really wonderful day. Please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.